Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'll be showing you how I curl my hair. I typically do loose curls whenever I curl my hair. I do have a one that does give me a tighter curl pattern too, but today we're gonna to be doing some nice, big, loose curls. So let's get straight into this video. Firstly, I sectioned my hair off into four parts and I'm leaving the back section out, which is where I'm going to start curling. For this tutorial, I'm gonna be using a new one that I just bought recently. Um, it's this one, nothing too snazzy. Um, I do have a curling wand already, but it's a little bit small, and I just wanted one that can give me a bit of a bigger curl. I do have some other tongs as well, but they're just a bit too big. So, let's see if these ones can give me the curl that I, do, that I want. It has three levels. I'm gonna try level two first because I never like to go on the full heat. That is a sure way to do some damage. Um, it comes with this heating pad, so I'm just gonna rest it down. It has this glove, but I don't know if I need it because um, I'm a pro, so. But I'll wear it anyway, because it looks cool. Before I go in, I'm gonna spray each section with some heat protectant just to protect my hair. And not too much, because I don't want my hair to start reverting back but mostly concentrating at the ends. And then I just comb it through. So I'll just section the hair like this. Just split it in half. And then just do one, two, three, four. My neighbors sound happy, don't they? Now after I curl each sections, I'm gonna be trying out this Super Hold Spray by ORS. They advertised this for wigs, to hold the wigs, but they direct messaged me and told me that it can work on heated styles. So I'm gonna try it out today. I mean, nothing holds harder than spritz. So if it's a harder hold than spritz, then it's a no-go, but we'll see how it goes in this video. So I'm gonna be curling away from my face. So curling in that direction, away from my face. I'm not gonna be going all the way up to my roots either. I'm gonna be starting about here. When I'm curling, instead of curling it flat like that, I'm gonna be curling it doing this. Yeah? So not flat like that, round like that. Okay, cool. Here we go. We've got our wand and go blindly around. Have to put the glove on the other side. Fantastic. And hold it there for a few. And then slay drop. Hold the crown up <laughs> to put the glove on the other side. That's clever, isn't it? Slay it cool off. But it's not long. I'm not keeping the Iron on it long and, and level two seems to be really hot. And look, come up with nice curls like that. Yeah, let's switch off the glove. <laughs> Typical. Once more, walk close to the root and I'm twirling it around the top. You want to keep it there for a little while for the curl to form, but um, you don't know how long it's going to take to actually do that. But 10 seconds seems to be okay for me. I'm really not trying to get any heat damage. Yeah, I don't feel safe doing it more than 10 seconds. I'll give you guys an update on heat damage if these new products gave me heat damage or not. So, I mean, I usually do this all the time without even worrying about heat damage or anything like that. So the only thing that happens with my hair often is the ends get really dry and frizzy. And that shows me that I need to have a trim. So I don't know if the heat styling causes that to happen prematurely. But I did recognise a lot of difference when I didn't do a lot of heat styling for this year. 
in my length. As I do say in my tips for length retention video that you might not see the damage happening in your hair but your hair might start to act differently like getting dry or frizzy or anything like that like my hair does. So I don't get heat damage but then I probably do some sort of damage because my hair <laughs> doesn't behave sometimes. I think I want to split this section into two. This seems like it's really thick. Holding the curl up and allowing it to cool um, allows the curl to finish forming, basically. If you just let it hang, the curls are just gonna come out. At the back, you start lower, and then towards the top, you curl closer to the root. And this doesn't take no time at all, really. Um, because you're doing it in such big sections, it doesn't need a lot of time. That's one section done already. So, with that section done, I'm going to use some of this holding spray. See how I go with it. It smells like normal hairspray. It's probably just a really maximum strength hairspray. All right then. So they're not spray heat protectant, great. Well, if I get heat damage there, you know why. doing the back section it's halfway down the shaft so that your curls can hang a bit lower because it's right in the middle of my head. Last section. Heat protectant. And holding the curl up does make a difference. So make sure you do this part as well. If not, your curls are just gonna fall. So I'm just gonna wait for this side to cool completely before I fiddle around with it. This side's cool already, so I'm just gonna do a parting on this side where I like to do my hair. I'm gonna use my comb because I want this point to be crisp. I'm just gonna brush my fingers through just to release the curls a little bit. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the way the curls came out. They're big and loose how I wanted them. I am going to tassel just a little bit more just so that the curls can be a little bit more uniform. Yeah, just um, break your fingers through and then bring them back together like that. Now that I'm happy with the way the curls look, I'm going to spray it with this hairspray. And I'm just going to take some oil sheen to just amp up the shine on this hair. And 
gonna make sure I get here because I've got a lot of flowers. Alright, so you see these flyaways here. I'm just gonna spray some of this hairspray on it just to hold them down a bit and just smooth it down. Like so. So yeah, this is the results, guys. Oh, I love it. So that's how I would usually curl my hair every time, um, even with the other curling tongs I have, even though the other ones are probably a bit smaller. So I'll probably do smaller sections, but with these ones, you can literally curl your hair in 30 minutes and done. But yeah, if you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this. If you haven't already, go check out my hair straightening video. And obviously, as you know, this is the curls on two weeks hair. So you can literally ramp up your old crusty straight hair and just curl it for the last week. And you get these results. But yeah, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.